Hello everyone, originally this was a recording for the match between the UK and USA, unfortunately that was forfeited by UK, so USA have won that match. In the meantime, I was uh, about to shoutcast the match uh, together with Delirium, a map maker of Frozen Sand, and it turned out to be a 15-minute interview, so I hope you enjoy this, and um, well, comments and feedback are most definitely welcome on the YouTube uh, comments uh, feed. Um, who knows, maybe based on your comments, we will do more of this stuff. Thanks for listening, and uh, looking forward to read your feedback. Good evening, ladies and gents. After a quite disappointing but very funny nonetheless uh, stream between uh, Belgium and Poland, we are now awaiting United Kingdom versus USA to start. Um, in the meantime, our sub counter has uh, risen all the way up to 76. We're just four away from an extra emoticon here. Um, we're also uh, looking forward to uh, this uh, custom map called Derelict. Uh, which uh, already featured in the very first knockout of the year. Um, but this time it's also going to be featuring in the Nations Cup. I am also joined by a co-shoutcaster, none other than mapmaker extraordinaire Delirium. Yep, that's me. Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> or good evening. Uh, as it must be for all... What time is it over there? Uh, it's uh, half past ten in the evening, indeed. Right, yeah. <laughs> and uh, what time is it there in the, the good old land of Oz? Uh, I'm actually the next door neighbor, New Zealand. Um, and it ah, is... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is, it's 8.31 in the morning. Oh, nice and uh, early. But bad. then again, I guess it's still Easter there. So you have uh, your Monday off? Yep, of course. So four day weekend for us. And uh, well, I'm, I'm in lockdown anyway. So uh, uh, currently... Yeah. My uh, my niece was actually in uh, New Zealand up to uh, two days ago, and she uh, got repatriated. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's uh, it's similar to the Dutch word, at least what I just said. So she's uh, back in Holland for uh, for at least the foreseeable future. Um, anyway, uh, let's. Uh, quickly give people an idea of what the map looks like and uh, this is derelict uh, for those wondering it's a quite narrow map with open areas as you can see here and from my perspective I would say that this is a little bit of a troll choice by UK and um, their uh, regular choice of maps is also a bit of a troll choice <laughs> being uptown um, but uh, they well, probably expect to play a little bit better versus USA. In fact, their fifth player uh, was uh, streaming League of Legends up till five minutes ago. So uh, he had to be highlighted like, mate, you have to come and uh, fast. <laughs> but um, he is here. Um, I uh, went into the archives of uh, Urban Zone. So obviously those are not the complete archives of the Nations Cup. But these two countries have met three times before in the Nations Cup at Urban Zone. That's uh, probably a record. Um, but uh, up to now, the USA have won each and every single time. The last uh, time that they met, it wasn't a 2-0 win. In fact, it was a 2-1 win. So we'll have to wait and see if uh, UK can uh, force a third map decider. I think with um, the choice, uh, I think with the choice of Derelict, they might have uh, the upper hand because the map's only been released for uh, for all of two weeks, so no teams actually have had a chance to really gauge how the map. Okay. So it'd be, it'd be interesting uh, to see how uh, how both the experienced teams end up playing it out. See, this is why Delirium gets paid the big bucks when he uh, starts shoutcasting. He has all of this inside information that I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, so, all, um, I get, could, all I get paid in is smiles. <laughs> could you tell us who is the maker of the Derelict? Oh, that would be myself, uh, Mark, <laughs> the one and only. Um, it's uh, it's actually been a long, a long project. Uh, I, I first released it uh, about 2012. I remember you featured the first version in one of the uh, knockout series a long time ago. It, yeah. it looked a lot different since then, and um, it's had two other versions, one before this and, well, this one now. I picked it up, uh, picked up the project again maybe about nine months ago to uh, to get my inspiration and motivation uh, for, for the new upcoming version, uh, Urban Terror version, I should say. I can imagine that it's also quite difficult to pick up a project again uh, after, uh, well, probably 
spending a lot of time making such a map. Can you, can you give us an insight, uh, a, a map like like derelict? How long would you uh, would you take to uh, yeah, to to create it? Well, believe it or not, uh, it's not actually the detailing and the texturing and the lighting which takes the most amount of time. I mean, th they're probably the things that you're the most picky about and the things which can cause you to, to take longer to build a map. But um, the trickiest part and the part that takes longest is actually uh, putting together a nice layout that has good flow, is well balanced and, um, and I suppose it's fun to play. And I mean, getting the three of those uh, is is pretty damn hard, and sometimes it's a, it's a gamble too. I can well imagine. And um, uh, some people might not know uh, which other maps you have created. Can you uh, uh, tell us what else is in your portfolio? Uh, yeah, sure. So the most popular um, would be Tohunga, uh, as everyone knows. Uh, Beta Eight being the most popular version, and uh, obviously another version after that, which which no one really plays that's all good though it's uh, i understand <laughs> <laughs> we, we featured it in a knockout if i'm not mistaken and that was yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of fun but yeah it's uh it's it's strange the, the same way that urban terror uh, i don't know what was it 4.1 was uh stayed or kept on being very popular while 4.2 was already released it's uh yeah 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 well the, i mean the community it, can it be nice picky. Anyway. um there's also huh. I'm going to start right from the beginning. Uh, Barn, which is a, a small 1v1 or 2v. Um, then there's uh, Tohunga as well. Uh, Facade is another mm -hmm. one, uh, which was more... My attempt at a, a more CTF-based TDM uh, map, which um, is, is, is quite unbalanced, I must say, after playing it recently. Um, then there's also Oaks, which was based off uh, the inspiration of Left 4 Dead 2 Whispering Oaks map. Um, and, and that's that's actually a pretty fun map, visually appealing, but uh, it doesn't play well competitively. Um, and oh. I can't remember if I made any others. I probably have. There's too okay. Many. And, and what, what map is the one that you are most proud of? Because I can imagine that it might not be the one that uh, gets played the most, but I, I have no idea. I've never made a map. <laughs> well, um, the... My, Besides this one uh, that people are playing on now, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of this one because uh, obviously it's 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 kind of like um, a revival of Delirium. You know, I've been in the shadows for over seven or eight years and then come back and, and get back into it. So I'm pretty proud to to jump back into the pool. But um, Oaks Oaks is a is a favorite of mine, a personal favorite, just because it looks so nice. And uh, I did a lot a lot of nice unique shader tricks and entity tricks uh, in that map with the bouncy castle and uh, a few other other games. Um, but I would actually have to say uh, Tonga is still probably my favorite, even though I think right now uh, it gets overplayed. Mm. When I when I first uh, when I first made um, it was my attempt at creating a, a smaller 5v5 TS map um, because uh, back when I was scrimming Uptown and uh, Casa were uh, pretty popular and I mean obviously Turnpike and whatnot um, they were chosen too but often the game was played a lot, a lot slower and so <clears throat> I was attempting to go for something a bit faster and uh, well I mean to my surprise um, it actually ended up uh, if I must say, kind of changing the way the, the game was played. Uh, everyone uh, played the maps so quickly, and, and Team Survivor uh, just changed. Um, I, mean, yeah, I can't, I can't say completely even worldwide, but definitely down here in my little corner of the world. Well, it, it's, um, it certainly has contributed to, in my opinion, at least a more attractive uh, Team Survivor um, yeah, way of playing. Uh, we uh, well obviously I think you were watching the, the match just now between Belgium and Poland. Uh, that's not something that you'll uh, see on Tohunga, the the really slow turnpike. Uh, no, <laughs> play, no definitely not. It's a, it's it's a really hard map to play slowly. In fact, it requires both both teams to play uh, a slow slow round. I uh, I was also wondering uh, without having the luxury of uh, going through uh, to Hunger right now just to mark out some points that I think are really interesting competitively. Um, there are some really nice angles as well. Um, 
are most of those angles that you uh, do, do you think them out beforehand like if you can throw a nade from the one side of the map to the other side or uh, or just uh, pass two corners and then still land on the stairs for instance um from uh, i don't know the locations to be on some crap at, uh, <laughs> at names <laughs> but um uh, is that something you think out or is that something the community finds out th- themselves or um or or, or even uh, yeah uh, invents themselves no so um so tohanga was the first map that i made um out of so at the time i'd made two or three maps previously um but it was the first map where i actually uh didn't design any detail and didn't do any texturing and and fully just tried to focus on the layout um if Mm. you ever download like beta 3 beta 4 beta 5 you'll see that in the details the the map looks empty and and uh quite trash to be honest um but all of these things like angles, nades, uh, jumps. Um, I was a pretty avid jumper uh, back when I was making Tohunga. So I did my best to include as many nice uh, flowy jumps as possible, which actually helps the flow of the map um, completely because uh, you can get from one side to the other uh, in, a, in a single stamina bar. And so that kind yeah. of that kind of stuff is I um, love that. ideally that kind of stuff is is uh, designed in the layout process um, for Derelict. This map, uh, I, I certainly did that. Um, a lot of the jumps and angles, nade throws especially, uh, are like pre-designed before I then texture and add details. Um, because if you add details and texture and all the nice pretty stuff first, if you need to change uh, any anything because it's not working out in the flow of the map as a designer you're more reluctant to delete it because you've spent so much uh time and hard effort um making it look so good and Mm, to have to delete all your hard work is uh kill kill your babies (laughs) yeah exactly exactly so yeah Yeah. all all of these kind of things are 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 thought out um in in the layout designing process and this map especially uh i spent um a lot of time and I mean uh, an embarrassingly amount of <laughs> ungodly hours uh, throwing nades from one side of the map to the other, uh, st- standing stationary uh, from spawns, sprinting, jumping, like throwing nades everywhere. And uh, and this map, um, you can kind of tell that uh, there is some Counter Strike inspiration uh, t- to the design uh, aspects, just simply because there's so many nade throws. And uh, mm. I. It's, it's, it's really cool to see this premiere in the Nations Cup uh, so early after its release. Um, yeah. Because obviously no one no one really knows how the how the map flows yet. Uh, but I'm, I'm interested to see how it will be played in, let's say, a couple of months' time when everyone's learnt the map a lot more and uh, they know the pre-nades, they know, uh, they know all, the, all the angles and all the tricks and all the jumps. Uh, then, then it would be really exciting to see how the map flows. Yeah. Are there any um, improvements you already have uh, in mind or is it now, okay, I'm going to watch and see how people play this competitively and on the servers and then uh, possibly change it up? Uh, So Hippers from Australia has uh, been so nice to host this map on uh, Pugbot, which is essentially Mm -hmm. uh, for people who um, aren't aware. Uh, It's essentially like... Uh, you can set up a, a 5v5 uh, scrim similar to what we're watching now, except uh, they're not pre-organized teams. You can just join randomly, and then uh, your teams are assigned in a 5v5 manner. So um, he's he's set the, the map up on that server, and um, I've had the opportunity to play it and to, to have a couple of the pros play it as well and see how it flows. Um, and at the moment, there seems to be um, a bias to uh, the spawns on uh, the top side of the map, so forklift in the factory area. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, no, no, no. Uh, the bias is uh, for the team spawning on the other side of the map where the pipes oh, and the dumpster. Okay. Uh, because you can push up alley uh, pretty easily. Um, it's hard to defend alley. You have to defend the alley from inside the factory um, just because it's so narrow. And then... Um, yeah, wait a second. Somebody's... Uh... Bugged on the ladder. It's hello. That's bugged on the ladder. He, he, uh, <laughs> he he's, oh, I'm sorry. This might. Be, he uh, he tried to go up the ladder, but when when the second he got towards the water tank, and I think it's the texture of uh, 
um, of the floor or, uh, or the ridge that uh, he can't pass uh, and get up all the way on the water tank. Uh, uh, is he is he falling down or is he? No, he was just standing still. Okay. He couldn't he couldn't get up further. At least that's what it looked like. Um, uh, it's uh, well, you, you'll be able to see it on uh, on the YouTube. Uh, yeah, anyway, it doesn't re- it doesn't really matter. But um, it's uh, <laughs> funny. He was calling you out delirium. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's kind of expected to find bugs. I mean, um, I I I used to test my maps with uh, with my own clan uh, back in the day. Yeah. we would uh, set up matches with other um, other clans, but there, there aren't really too many people. Um, in Australia and New Zealand that are playing at the moment. Uh, as you see, all the Aussie guys, they are used to 200 ping and they play on the American servers. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> uh, we haven't really, ha- I haven't had an opportunity, I should say, uh, to, to have it fully tested. So uh, I'm kind of expecting people to find some bugs. I hope they don't find any clippings. I did a very good job of trying to clip everything so there's no, uh, and people can't get on routes. Oh, here, hello is going to try, uh, oh, no, I think, uh, I, I thought for a second he was going to try again to get up there. He's he's at least looking at uh, at the spot that was bugging him out. Oh, well, no swimming is not really good. Anyway, um, let's not get uh, caught up in the details. I think it's really great to have you in here and it uh, definitely gives us a little bit of different insight into um, map making and what it takes to uh, to well map for uh, this game. Um, there have been already some questions in chat and I'll get to them right. Ah, look, hello is bugged again. So at the water tank at the moment. Yeah, well I caught it on stream. Anyway, it doesn't really matter for now. Um, Back to, uh, back to the game, uh, guys. We are um, uh, delayed because of somebody playing League of Legends, of all things. Um, and I'm pleased that at least uh, USA haven't taken the forfeit win because uh, they could definitely have done that. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, if uh, if the match is going to be played. Um, it's uh well, and in the meantime we can continue on with the interview with delirium which is fantastic um uh, i don't know how to pronounce your name but chitty bug uh, 59 um what does really change between a ctf and a ts map i'm uh, sorry was that a question for me yeah um, so it, it, is there a specific difference that you used for for mapping uh we saw it Oh, in terms um, of uh, in terms of designing a layout, um, designing a CTF layout uh, versus designing a TS layout uh, requires, I suppose, a different uh, different mentality behind the level designer. I myself am not an experienced CTF player, uh, so my CTFs um, my CTF experience is, is based off uh, public servers and uh, all the clan matches I've had, which. Uh, I've done really bad. Um, <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Hello's issue. He's trying to walk up the ladder, but he can't get any higher. That, yeah. That's that's intended. Ah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. So in in uh, in Team Survivor and Capture the Flag, you can't get up on top of that water tower. In every other game mode, you can. So uh, that's actually intended. He uh, he should be able to climb to the top, um, up to that ledge, yeah. and then that. But that's intended for this game type. Then I think, uh, well, I, I've I've helped people map myself. I'm sure you know the the player or a mapper, uh, Cody Code Made Flesh. Yeah, good friend of mine. Oh, okay, great. Um, he, uh, I think that the solution for this might be uh, just add an additional texture for TS or CTF to, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> lock it off uh, and make yeah. it clear to the player. I might I might do that actually. Uh, it is a bit misleading. It was it was part of the whole model, so I, I just couldn't be bothered uh, removing it. Yeah, I understand. Um, anyway, sorry. Back to back to the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my CTF experience uh, is um, pretty much nil. Uh, I'm a Team Survivor player. Um, so um, Team Survivor, I know that essentially um, from spawn, uh, both teams can cover. Uh, their sections of the map that they can 
sprint to. You think of Casa, um, you spawn at Patio, you can pretty much cover uh, from Alley Timbers across uh, to Narrow. Uh, <clears throat> conversely, on the other side, uh, you get to cover Market and, and Fountain and then just before Narrow. Um, so if we think of uh, Toanga, uh, you pretty much just got to make sure that uh, from both spawns, um, each team reaches uh, the center choke points uh, at roughly the same time. Um, and that uh, if there is a bias over one route, then uh, each team, uh, each spawn set has, um, has their own route, which has a bias in their favor, which just pretty much creates a circular flow. Uh, a prime example is uh, Turnpike, which has really nice uh, circular um, mm. bias uh, for both yeah. spawn sets. If you spawn at forklift, uh, going via pillars is uh, is in your favor. If you spawn uh, jeep, then going metro is in your favor. Uh, so just to give someone an idea who um, who can think of it like that. Uh, when it comes to CTF, um, the number one thing and uh, the top two things I find, number one is uh, spawn placement. Spawns uh, need to be um, uh, pretty much easy to get out of. Um, Tauranga is not a good example of that. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> but essentially, easy to get out of, um, so you don't catch on anything. It's uh, free-flowing. And uh, that the flags are within reach of their team spawn, but not quite within sight so they can't defend uh, as soon as they spawn but uh, if you were to kill them and they would respawn and you grab the flag they can then still chase you so uh, it's those are the two key important things and then if you uh, take those into account with a balanced team survivor map generally speaking uh, you get a balanced um, a balance seat. Uh, but then that rule doesn't always apply. Uh, you look at Algiers, for example, Algiers is a very small map um, and it's pretty much, uh, you have one long flanking route and then you've got a building in the middle and two short, uh, two short routes that you take the flag. Um, so that is, a, that is a great CTF map. It's probably actually one of my favorite CTF maps. It's, it's a really balanced CTF map. And mm. um, the reason why I think it's so great is because there's two main ways you can run the flag, uh, but it also caters for the players who like to play uh, stealthy. Yeah. And um, yeah. obviously, uh, when it comes to competitive, not many people will go the long route because they can't afford to drop uh, a player because they need uh, they need them on the in the active areas. Um, but you know that's where team tactics come in. Absolutely, I uh, I heard some theory about uh, a good map that it's um, based on a model eight uh, as in you can um, you've got a, a double circle uh, which allows you to um, yeah to, and turnpike is a really good example it's a perfect model eight um, algiers eh, is like an intertwined uh, circle so there are uh, four routes uh, as you as you say um, but uh, that well, uh, we're we're in a different map now, Austria, which is also uh, uh, based on a model eight. Um, do you understand what I mean with by a model model oh, eight? Completely. Sorry, my okay. voice has just gone a bit fuzzy. I've just taken a sip of some spirits. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, just uh, just checking with that. Uh, um, I know it's early, but and... you're gonna start somewhere. Um, but no, I I I fully get what you mean. Um, when I was teaching uh, some of the mappers back in the day uh, about uh, level design theory, it was precisely that. Um, if you look at all map layouts, it's a series of shapes. So your main shapes are like, um, you've got uh, your window frame, which is essentially like four squares. Um, and that a window frame provides uh, essentially a very basic 3-3 three, three layout. Um, then you've got your figure eights, like you said, uh, then you've got uh, essentially your number fives or S uh, and then Z bends. Yep. So this map is essentially, uh, it is a big figure eight. Um, but you can see like there's smaller shapes uh, within it, like uh, Zs and Ss, the little little connecting ways, uh, connected ways I should say. Um, 
and like all maps are are just a series or a combination uh, of those shapes um, rotated. I suppose you look at Tohunga. Tohunga is um, essentially you've got uh, a figure eight and then uh, and then uh, a little S on the other end, or maybe a number six. Do you want to call it? Yeah. In the meantime, um, we've got the message that the match is cancelled. Um, so, uh, well, if you have any more questions regarding level design, please get them in. Uh, they are still more than welcome. Um, oh, that's a shame. Guys, yeah, it really is, especially since it would have been uh, the first time that uh, this match uh, map would have been played. Um, were there any more questions? Nice to have some Q and A though. Yeah, exactly. Especially, well, don't forget, guys, Delirium is also part of the Frozen Sand team. Uh, so uh, if you have any questions regarding the game, etc., you're more than welcome to ask him. <laughs> I'm sure that uh, <laughs> he'll have to check before answering some questions, though. Um, I, uh, I have another question. Um, no, the game is not going to be played, uh, played another code. Anyway, um, so uh, maybe it's also handy to remove the delay. Um, well, for now, let's just continue with the delay. Otherwise, it's uh, too much hassle. Um, which map is, is uh, um, uh, which map that isn't your own uh, is, is do you think is the best map uh, in Urban Terror? I like this question. I like this question a lot. Um, oh. This is a very good question, and uh, there are many maps that are good for different reasons. Uh, if you say, um, if you ask me from a level design perspective, um, and uh, we're talking about brushwork and detailing and textures, I would say uh, Bohemia is, is is quite up there. That's uh, that's amazing uh, in terms of brushwork. Uh, Null went crazy on that map. If you're talking in terms of gameplay. Um, which I think you probably are, and uh, is uh, my number one. Uh, I would say um, Orbital, and uh, I am not only just supporting uh, other third-party mappers. Uh, Coral did a very good <laughs> job uh, on Orbital, but uh, that map has, uh, I think, the best uh, team survivor flow. Um, it's it's perfect in in every way. Um, and I, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change this, a single thing about it. It's, it's, it's absolutely, it's, uh, going back to that, that layout, uh, discussion we were having, uh, just before it, it is again, um, it's, it's kind of like, uh, long rectangles and, and squares. Um, so it's quite a basic layout, but it, it's just so balanced. Um, and yeah, absolutely love orbital every time I play it. Yeah, it's, uh, definitely. A, a very beautiful map and well i've I've always wanted to support third party mappers so it's awesome uh, and uh well uh this might sound strange but um and maybe a little bit hipster as well uh, but uh when uh third party maps become um regular maps it, it's somewhere i don't really like it <laughs> um but uh yeah of course every every mapper wants their map to be played uh, as much as possible I, I i would imagine at least um and sometimes it does get overplayed um tohunga being an example uh, i think it was two or three years ago that uh we got tr <laughs> yeah so much uh, tohunga action that it started to become a little bit of a <laughs> oh, yeah, a, a yeah. joke to me you're telling me and, it's, uh, and the it's, same it's, it's and, and the same for for uh, sorry uh, and the, and the same for um uh, orbital uh i think uh, at one point there was this definitive league edition or something like that and, and it was like okay we're taking the, the piss uh, now uh, it, it was being played for Team Survivor CTF anyway um, no one won uh, guys uh, the match was cancelled that's why there's a huge cancelled uh, in, in between so we um, uh, yeah uh, sorry what, what are your thoughts on that I interrupted you and I'm interviewing you <laughs> no, no no that's all good um, I actually can't remember what we were just talking about um, uh, we were talking about maps that uh, get too popular oh yes yes um actually i had a thought uh with what you were saying before that i kind of wanted to add Tohunga 
as popular as it, as it is now. I never actually, a uh, bit of trivia for everyone, I never actually got to uh, play much of it um, when I was uh, in the scene back in the day. Uh, it's only kind of recently uh, since I've resurfaced that uh, I've been able to play it. Um, when I when I first released it, uh, which was in 2011 or so, um, it wasn't actually it wasn't actually very popular. Uh, I must say, it was only popular in like Australia, New Zealand, where I managed to convince server admins to put it on their servers, and um, and then I stopped playing maybe around the end of 2012. Uh, beginning of 2013, and uh, and that's kind of when it started to pick off, uh, pick up with oh. uh, For the Win Gaming League, and um, I think Clan Base was still around then, and mm-hmm. uh, and then Urban Zone, and um, and then Nations Cup, and you know I, I didn't know anything about this, and then uh, one of my one of my Australian friends actually messaged me on Facebook, and uh, he was telling me that um, they were playing on on my map. I was like, "Fuck, that's sick!" And uh, and then <laughs> he he linked me to your stream, and that that would have been like three years ago. And I swear to God, I watched every single video. I couldn't, I could not believe, no. I could not believe how popular my map was. And uh, it was it was the only thing I wanted at that time. You know, it was the only thing I wanted. It's, it, like you said, it's what it's what every mapper wants. Every mapper wants their map to be the number one map. And um and then just to see that my map was like actually being played so much and that people really loved it i was i was gobsmacked and then you know what frustrates me now is i i play it on pugbot i play it on on public servers and everyone absolutely owns me because they know how to play it so well and uh, and and I, I i have no clue i actually have no clue how to play it it's uh, it's incredible that's hilarious <laughs> yeah. that's amazing oh man that, uh, and uh, well, f- from my p- point of view, I'm pleased that uh, uh, you got to see it on the on the stream. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. It's 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 really cool to see how the experienced players have developed um, such intricate tactics for the map. Uh, yeah. And 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 for each spawn set uh, circumstances when, um, like let's say. Uh, like tank is tank is down and then uh they're at hotel flanking around through cobble you know all these crazy things that people do yeah yeah uh you're still here you seem to break yeah yeah no no i'm here i I just keep um yeah no no that's fine i have a question though um pretzel uh sent a message in uh in the urban zone chat um delirium how did you come across the level shot loading trick that I don't even know question. what he is talking about. That's a good question. So, um, Null, uh, Null is, for those who don't know, uh, he is a maker of Mandolin, um, which is a great team survivor map. Um, everyone in Pugbot can uh, stuff themselves. I enjoy it. Um, he made a few other good maps as well, and uh, he was teaching me about shader tricks, and um, essentially I, I, I was looking through uh the shader files that came with the z pack uh 4.1 mm. at the time and i i noticed that the shader files are referencing files other than files that are in your texture file uh, folder or model folder you know they were referencing um f- uh, textures in like graphics folder and player folder and uh um all these other things and so i i thought well if i can apply a shader on a texture and if if uh frozen sand because I, w- I i wasn't part of frozen sand and uh, it was only only recently i joined the team uh if frozen sand can apply shaders uh to models and and sprites and graphics and stuff then then in theory i should be able to apply it to the level shot um and uh and then essentially it was it was a matter of figuring out which which technique i wanted to use and um and for Derelict, i actually found a, a new technique but uh it kind of looked it kind of looked a bit tacky so I, I went with the old the old shader trick that i used for tohanga um and i used to use that on all of my maps uh but there were a couple a couple over the years that i didn't do it on like um facade i didn't and oaks i didn't i don't know why i didn't but uh essentially what 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 Pizzle's talking about is that i have two images instead of just the one uh, image 
And so while the loading bar is moving across the screen while you're loading the map, um, it, it fades into the next image. Yeah. Yeah, so... Which, so. Uh, on which maps can we see that? Because then I'm just going to show it to the people watching now. Um, Derelict, Beta Derelict 8 doesn't have it, does it? Yeah, uh, okay. Maybe it was Beta 7 that had it. Um, Beta 7 and Tonga. But yeah, Derelict definitely has it, and uh, Tonga Beta 10 definitely has it as well. Okay, then uh, we're going to have a quick peek. So, going from this one level shot to the second to back to the third, if I'm not uh, to the original, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, so it just transitions between the two. Yeah, really cool. Nice. Uh, good question, Pretzel, and uh, <laughs> one that uh, I really well, I, I was aware, and uh, and I wasn't, I, I was aware of this possibility, and I wasn't aware that it was even something special. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, I've never really paid much attention to uh, to that. Um, so yeah, people uh, are uh, still in uh, in stream now, uh, wondering uh, is the match cancelled? Yes, the match is cancelled. Tomorrow at uh, nine o'clock, we've got Germany versus Turkey coming your way. So um, don't worry, guys. Uh, after that, I think we'll have a draw uh, so that you guys uh, know who are your third round opponents. Anyway, um, I had some questions lined up, but I didn't write them down. And that's really, really stupid of myself. Um, but I do have uh, one question that I still remember. Um, are there any other maps in development by yourself? And silence. Dale, are you still here? I was talking without my push to talk on. And uh, <laughs> let me start again. Um, so uh, in Drelict, I put a decal, a um, little Easter egg. Uh, just by the water, if you fly around in third person or spectator mode, you'll be able to see it. Um, just with a little message thanking the Urban Terror community for all the memories and uh, and that it would be my last map for um, 4.x. But uh, I have a little secret for uh, people who are listening. I heard from a little birdie on the grapevine that there may be something else uh, coming up. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's I, something I, I there are Drelict was one of them, um, but there are a few maps that I've made over the years uh, that never actually saw the light of day. Mm. Uh, so Drelict was one that I really wanted to finish up just because it was so close to being done, and uh, and this one also uh, is very close to being done. I would say ninety five percent of the way there. Um, while I while I work in between uh, the new Urban Terra and uh, have some free time, I will be tuning up this version and uh, and and possibly see something um, just to play on. But uh, nothing amazing, nothing nothing too pretty. Uh, essentially, it's just going to be wrap up and uh, and ship yep. it out just so people have something new and just so that project doesn't go to waste. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And um, well, you uh, you obviously gave me an opening there, um, because in your answer you were quite specific <laughs> for four point X. Um, so, if I remember correctly, developing maps uh, for uh, Urban Terror, old school or Urban Terror, Urban Terror now, um, GTK Radiant, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. Is it still GTK Radiant, or uh, do, do you uh, use different uh, map uh, making uh, software as well? No, so I still use GTK Radiant for uh, 4.x, uh, 4.3, and let's call it 4.x, if it feels yeah. better that way. Um, so I still use GTK Radiant predominantly, uh, though uh, the new Urban Terra version has uh, forced me to pick up new tools and Blender being one of those tools. Uh, so Blender, for those who don't know, is essentially modeling software. Uh, I can create more uh, detailed um, uh, more detailed uh, objects in the environment. Uh, so those those pipes uh, that you see in Derelict, um, 
that's an example. Uh, you don't even know where I am, but uh, since there's a two minute delay in the stream, but I was going through the pipes <laughs> of the <Derrick. laughs> <laughs> So great timing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't even thread a needle here, so... Uh, <laughs> but uh, please continue, I, uh, I interrupt you without a real reason. <laughs> I have, uh, I've seen, I've seen people take some shots through there, and there's, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I, I mainly use GTK Radiant, and GTK Radiant is so simple. Uh, but for the new version of Urban Terror, um, I can't use GTK Radiant anymore. It's outdated software. So I'm forced to pick up new tools, and uh, it's a pretty exciting endeavor, to be honest. Um, it's always it's always uh, nerve wracking and uh, a bit um, discouraging learning something new, uh, especially when there's so much to learn. But uh, picking up GTK Radiant just in the last couple of months, um, finishing off Derelict and uh, working on this other map, um, have given me a lot of inspiration and motivation. Uh, so it's it's been cool picking up Blender because I've been using that as well uh, in these new maps. So it's a good a good way to transition, I think. Yeah. Okay. And um, because well, I used to be member of Frozen Sands only in name, to be honest. Um, but uh, back then the focus was on uh, recreating uh, old maps. Is that something uh, you already have put in your hand to? Or are you uh, focused on original maps or maybe even uh, remaking your own maps? So at this current stage... Um, if you're allowed to say, by the way, because I've already yeah, become yeah. in pro trouble about with that sort of shit. So yeah, <laughs> please no. uh, don't, don't feel uh, uh, obligated to answer. I was just going to disclose this. Uh, I don't know what I can and can't say, so uh, no. the best okay, fair enough. Say, say not too much. But what I can say is that uh, at the moment, um, Johnny English is Johnny English, Crassus, uh, and a, a few other members of the team great dudes uh been working uh, pretty hard on on Tauranga. um and um myself i have uh, i've just been helping out john english a little bit um i have not really been too active in the new development um so that's something that will change uh, in the next couple of weeks um, as i'm picking up this tool so uh, but as for myself, my plans are to uh, essentially um, finish off the product that has been started, which is Tohanga. Mm -hmm. um, and that will be my main focus uh, once I'm up to speed in Blender, um, finishing that up. And then where we go from there, I'm not too sure. Uh, whether I decide to then help uh, one of the other level designers um, finish up uh, another map or... Um, whether I uh, start something new. Um, personally, I'm a believer in new maps. Uh, I think maps have their time uh, and that they need to die. Uh, that actually comes from Invis, wow. uh, if he's listening, in Envious or Invis. Uh, yeah. Um, he, he said that and I actually, I, I back that as well. Um, if you remember so, okay you but remember wait a second you, you can't get away with that uh, with a with a game that's uh, 21 years old so uh, how you, you you have to explain uh, why you think that some maps are allowed to die i mean there are staples in urban terror that have been around for 20 plus years um don't get me wrong don't get me wrong the favorites the favorites should definitely stay they play well and uh, they're well balanced and they're great maps. So the favorites should definitely stay. Uh, pretty much everything that's played competitively, in my opinion, um, in my opinion, uh, would be the best move. Um, but obviously, that depends on uh, it depends on uh, many factors. You know, h uh, how much work uh, the team can do. Um, if if we get any new volunteers, uh, new developers to help out. Um, and, and and what happens there but 
it's, this I'm just stating opinion at the moment. In my opinion, uh, of course, uh, and you're and you're definitely entitled to your opinion. So please don't yeah, take, no, think course. that this is an attack. <laughs> I'm just uh, really um, curious yeah, as no, to the, how how you see I that. Think, I think the competitive maps should definitely stay. They're great maps and they have good flow. And it would be a shame for those to die. Um, my statement more or less comes about my my own maps um, that I have done, and uh, and that uh, probably would not be worth porting over uh, to the new version. Like maps like, let's say, Facade uh, or Oaks. Um, I'm not saying it won't ever be done, but uh, it certainly won't be a priority. I think, um, I think uh, Duralic was a nice shot to just uh, to get out there to see, to see if people like the map, then I might look at I might look at that. And that would be, that would look pretty nice in the Unreal Engine. I could do a lot more detail with that. Uh, maybe this new map as well. That's also another reason why I want to finish it off to see if uh, if the layout has has some um, has some juice to it, and uh, mm -hmm. and then then we could look at that. There's also uh, a lot of a lot of layouts that I've uh, I've got jotted down on pen and paper. So uh, even though I was act inactive from the scene, uh, I still daydreamed about Urban Chair a lot at my uh, at my job in the reception desk. And um, I would just be scribbling layouts and layouts and layouts. So I, I've got a few different oh, layout cool. ideas, which uh, which could see the light of day. Um, but another issue that Frozen Sand do have is uh, essentially um, ownership rights of maps, and that uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this things like um, uh, people. There, there are instances where we cannot get in contact with people. Uh, I shouldn't say we, but uh, there are instances where people are just non-contactable. Uh, emails that they've left in the readme are dead, um, and yeah, all, all roads lead to a dead end. So, um, and I'm, I'm not saying these are uh, like I'm, I'm not wanting to cause a massive uproar, saying uh, confirming that certain maps won't be in the game, but. Um, it, it's it's going to be hard to to get permission from everybody though um, yeah though you can obviously uh, understand that the, the, the favorites are, are pretty much a given then again there's always uh, and I'm not encouraging this uh, but there's always workarounds and there have always been workarounds I mean I remember with the port to 4.x uh, all of the 3.x uh, maps and before were not uh, usable anymore and um well uh some i don't know how to really put the right word to uh, to it but I'm, i i am grateful in part but um some people just uh, uh ripped the map and uh, created and recreated it again um with uh, at least attribution but still uh it's uh, it's yeah that that's w what you can do as a community but not as a development team uh, who might even um earn some money by uh, uh, by urban terror uh, etc uh, yeah, you never exactly. know but uh, exactly the, you, the team you just want to uh, face, be safe the team's the team could face legal repercussions whereas uh, your average joe who uh, goes by the name um you know something random uh, yeah. we're never going to find him <laughs> and uh, well have fun on the, on your new map, guys. Yeah, I, I, exactly. I I actually used to be a um, quite against that, uh, but coming back to the scene, I I actually think that it's great that people do that. Maps stay alive, and uh, and and the scene gets to have more fun with with, with different maps, uh, though each to their own. So, uh, for anyone listening, I actually have released the source files of. Uh, Derelict with PK3. If you are a map maker or uh, do you have an interest in GTK, you can have a look through the map. And uh, I will be doing so for this other map that I'm working on as well. Oh, nice. Cool. Very cool. Um, to be honest, if, even for such an impromptu, uh, I, I, was, I was thinking about... Um, I'm just going to go on a roll now for a second. Uh, I was thinking of um, uh, creating a, a Urban Terror pub quiz around this COVID-19 bullshit. Um, and I already contacted BK if she would be available to uh, answer some questions so that I would have uh, some nice quiz questions. And uh, e even th this conversation, it's, it's just really 
great to to catch up with what frozen sand is doing and it gives a bit of an insight even if it's not frozen sand but just simply in well the the people who contribute a a big deal and i would say map makers do really contribute a big deal there's a a reason that uh, custommapmakers.com uh at least i hope that's the right link um but uh oh great okay um I mean, I, I, I've always enjoyed uh, being there and idling in their Discord and seeing the, the inspiration posts, etc. Uh, unfortunately, making maps takes a lot longer than uh, posting some inspiration, but nevertheless, it's really cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, more uh, more of these kinds of interviews would uh, definitely be something that I would be up for if... Uh, uh, if frozen sand slash uh, maybe even delirium for a future uh, <laughs> uh, would be up for that. Oh, anyway, um, Dale, I'm just going to give you the mic for another uh, couple of minutes if there's anything you want to share with the community uh, or uh, or talk about because whatever's coming out of your mouth at the moment is pure gold. And um, then I'm going to wrap this up uh, because uh, it's uh, already approaching half past uh, 12 here. Yep, uh, well, I, I won't take up too much of your time. I don't really have too much more else to add at this, uh, at this stage, but I um, just want to give a shout out to you all. Thanks all for listening. And uh, it's, it's been pretty cool jumping on here with you, uh, 709. Um, cool. I, hope well, then, play, uh... I hope you all get to play the new map, uh, Duralic. It's a shame I didn't get to see it uh, played out tonight, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it played out, hopefully in the future, maybe featuring in another Nations Cup. And um, keep an eye out as well for uh, this new project I'm working on. Uh, you'll probably see it on Pugbot first if you uh, if you play on the Pugbot uh, server. Um, however, uh, I, might, I might make a post up on the uh, on the forums at some stage. Uh, just just with a note about that. I haven't done that for this this uh, latest map, but I'll, I'll I'll do that at some stage. Cool. And uh, well, uh, to the people who are still listening, which is uh, quite a lot. uh, So I'm uh, pleased to see that. Um, I would also say, uh, don't forget to uh, uh, call vote the map on uh, on Pugbot Derelict. It's uh, definitely uh, uh, an enjoyable map, at least in Knockout. It was really uh, fun to watch. And I'm sure that uh, it will be a lot more fun in uh, a regular match (laughs) for which it was actually uh, developed. Um, I think I just missed um question um oh no sorry uh, that wasn't a question uh, aimed at you um thanks for uh, for this impromptu interview and uh, and filling the time with me delirium uh, let's uh, catch up uh, another time and uh, hopefully shoutcast uh, uh, your map being played live of course it's been an absolute pleasure thanks for having me all right catch you later see you bye bye see ya And uh, with that, I am going to also end this stream. I will make this uh, impromptu interview, at least if Dell uh, approves, uh, available on YouTube. But I'll check with uh, with him later. I'm going to end with Spanish Flea by Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry it's only one uh, one match this evening. Um, But don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 9 o'clock when we have Italy versus... Let me quickly get it in front of me. No, I said Italy, but it's wrong. Uh, Germany (laughs) versus... uh, Um, uh, Turkey Uh, and after that we will have a quick draw Um, Wednesday at 12 o'clock the signups for the um, uh, what's it called the 2v2 tournament uh, will uh, will open there are already two spots quote unquote sold uh, because people uh, went for the um, uh, what's it called the uh, reward slash stretch goals uh, which is pretty cool Um, and uh, well, let's, uh, let's have a great next uh, Urban Terror weekend. It's going to be my birthday. I'm going to be streaming on my birthday because I have nothing else to do. No friends that can visit me, unfortunately. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, see you tomorrow. Good night.